Hi friends, in this video, I will explain schedules to the act and schedules to the rules, which is an important topic of pharmaceutical jurisprudence subject and which is very very important in many competitive exams also. And compulsory bits or MCQs will be there in your question paper from this topic. And this topic is very very important in many examinations like GPAT, NIPER, Drug Inspector Exam, CGHS Pharmacist, Railway Pharmacist, Government Pharmacist and ESI Pharmacist and also many other examinations. Before going to the topic, I will introduce an Android app called Rudra's Pharmacology in which you can get different concepts of pharmacology with drug classifications and also other concepts of pharmacology. Coming to the topic, there are two schedules to the act and 35 schedules to the rules. Coming to the first one, schedules to the act. There are two schedules to the act. First schedule, it comprises the list of books of references for Ayurveda, Siddha and Yunani medicines. There are 57 books of Ayurveda and 30 books of Siddha and 13 books of Yunani system. It is also called as Yunani tip system. And these are listed in this first schedule and they are used for different formulations in accordance with the provisions of act. Second schedule, it comprises of the standards to be compiled with imported drugs, manufacture of drugs, their sale, stocking and storage etc. Next, schedules to the rules. Of those, there are 35 schedules to the rules and coming to the first one, schedule A, it consists of specimens of prescribed forms for applications for licenses, issue and renewal of licenses, memorandum, etc. How can you memorize this one? Schedule A is the first one. Whatever the work you do, uh, either to start a company or to start a pharmacy, first thing you have to do is keeping an application that is applying for the pharmacy. Schedule B. After applying for a pharmacy or a pharma company, Second thing you have to do is paying chalans. So, Schedule B contains rates of fee charged for test or analysis of CDL that is Central Drug Laboratory or State Drug Laboratories. You remember like this, after application there will be chalan. So, these are all our rates of fees. Schedule C, it consists of list of biological and other special products whose import, manufacture, sale and distribution are governed by special provisions. The examples are vaccines and sera. How can you memorize this one? C, if you get the letter C, C is equal to S E A C. This C consists of many biological organisms. You remember like this. Schedule C1. It consists of list of other special products whose import, manufacture, sale and distribution are governed by special provisions. These two are similar. Schedule C is about list of biological and other special products and Schedule C1 is about list of other special products. Examples are digitalis and ergot preparations. Schedule D. It consists of list of drugs that are exempted from certain provisions that are applicable to the import of drugs. Examples are powdered milk Farex, chicken essence, ginger, pepper, etc. How can you memorize this one? In the word exempted, the last alphabet is D. You correlate with this one D per D. Schedule D for exempted. Schedule D1. It consists of undertaking of the manufacturer or his authorized agent required to be submitted along with the application form for obtaining a registration certificate. And Schedule D2, undertaking of the manufacturer or his authorized agent required to be submitted along with the application form for registration of a bulk drug or its formulation or its import into the India. Schedule D1 is about obtaining a registration certificate and Schedule D2 is all about registration of bulk drug or its formulation or its import into India. So, don't get confused. This is a 
something related to D1 and D2. Schedule E1. It consists of list of poisonous substances under Ayurvedic, Siddha and Yunani systems of medicines. Examples. Snake venom, mercury, etc. How can you remember it? E for schedule E. E is there, no? E for evil. Evil substances are poisonous substances and you remember like this. Schedule F. It consists of requirements for operation of blood bank and preparation of blood components etc how can you remember it f for framework and requirements for blood bank f for framework and requirements for blood bank schedule f1 it consists of special provisions applicable to the production testing storage and labeling of biological and other special products Examples are provisions and standards for vaccines, serum, anti-serum, vitamins, etc. Don't get confused here. List of biological and other special products. They come under Schedule C and their special provisions applicable to production, testing, storage and labeling. They come under Schedule F1. Schedule F2. It consists of standards for surgical dressings. Schedule F3. It consists of standards of umbilical tapes and schedule ff it consists of standards for ophthalmic preparations how can you memorize this one ff means double focus which means eyes and that is equal to ophthalmic preparations that is standards for ophthalmic preparations schedule g g refers to garage of doctors repairing body with drugs it consists of drugs required to be taken under medical supervision examples insulin testolactone hydroxyurea carbutamide primidone etc schedule h h means rx drugs here these are the list of substances that should be sold by retail only on the prescription of registered medical practitioner and that is under medical supervision examples for these drugs are abacavir acyclovir and digipam etc these are the drugs to be sold under medical supervision only and there is another schedule related to the h that is schedule h1 drug and this includes third and fourth generation antibiotics anti tubercular drugs and certain habit forming drugs like psychotropic drugs etc schedule j it refers to incurable diseases it consists of list of diseases or ailments which a drug may not purport to prevent or cure these are the diseases which cannot be cured example aids cancer diabetes hernia glaucoma etc schedule k k for okay or exempted it consists of drugs exempted from certain provisions related to manufacturing of drugs schedule m m for manufacturing it is good manufacturing practices comprising requirements of factory premises plant and equipment it again consists of three sub schedules that is m1 m2 and m3 m1 is requirements of factory premises plant and equipment for manufacturing of homeopathic drugs and m2 is for manufacturing of cosmetics and m3 is for manufacturing of medical devices schedule n n for needed equipment it consists of list of minimum equipment for running a pharmacy next schedule o it consists of standards for disinfectant fluids o refers to the letter o in all uh, disinfectants that is detol phenol lysol all these uh, disinfectants contains o in their uh, uh, words schedule p it consists of life period of drugs p for period that is life period and schedule p1 it consists of pack sizes of drugs schedule q you remember it Q for coal tar colors. It consists of list of coal tar colors, dyes, and pigments 
permitted in cosmetics and soaps and list of colors permitted in soaps mainly refers to schedule q next one coming to schedule r r for rubber it consists of standards for condoms of rubber latex and other mechanical contraceptives next schedule r1 it refers to standards of medical devices schedule s it consists of standards of cosmetics s for shining which is uh, done due to cosmetics schedule t t for trees which are related to ayurvedic and unani drugs it consists of requirements of factory premises and hygienic conditions of ayurvedic including siddha and unani drugs schedule u it consists of particulars required to be shown in manufacturing records that is all about raw materials and analytical records of the drugs schedule u1 it consists of particulars required to be shown in manufacturing records that is all about raw materials and analytical records of cosmetics schedule u is related to the drugs and schedule u1 is records of cosmetics schedule v it consists of standards for patent or proprietary medicines schedule w it consists of list of generic drugs examples are metformin schedule x schedule x is related to psychotropic substances it consists of list of drugs whose import manufacture sale labeling and packing are governed by special provisions examples for these drugs are amobarbital amphetamine pencyclidine etc schedule y it consists of requirements and guidelines on clinical trials for import and manufacture of a new drug how to remember this one y for yak which is an animal and we do clinical trials on animals y for yak actually pre clinical trials will be done on animals but to remember this point we correlate this one with clinical trials thank you for watching the video please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for getting more videos